Major damage, missing statues and more. That's what we're waking up to in downtown Madison. And for the first time in weeks, overnight protests there turned destructive. We'll start with the latest on that breaking news this morning and a live look at some of the damage around the Tommy Thompson Youth Center overnight. That's where protesters broke windows and damaged several buildings in that area. This is all around the state capitol, including that building itself. Light fixtures and windows are broken at the capitol. Protesters also knocked over concrete planters and parts of the building have graffiti on it this morning. Police say they had to use a spray on those protesters who were trying to force their way into the Capitol. Protesters also used a Molotov cocktail to set a small fire at the downtown police precinct. The demonstration eventually came to an end around 2.30 this morning when protesters went home for the night. Right now, two statues outside the Capitol are also no longer standing after last night's demonstrations. Our Christina Laurie is live on the square now where one of those statues once stood. Christina, good morning to you. Hi, Josh. The other statue we were talking about in the last half hour forward tends to get more notoriety, but the statue that once stood here of Hans Christian Hag just off the King Street corner of the Capitol is also missing. This pedestal vandalized as well. Let's talk a little bit about Hans Christian Hegg. He served in the Union Army during the Civil War, leading the 15th Wisconsin Infantry. Before his military career, Hegg was an outspoken activist against slavery, serving as the leader in an anti-slave catcher militia. He died at the Battle of Chickamauga in North Georgia. Now, just minutes ago, we talked to Ebony Anderson Carter. She's a community activist. She was out here telling us she wants local and state politicians to return to the Capitol. I, I would like to see our governor come home. The Capitol is where we solve problems but nobody's coming here to solve a problem. There are all these conversations that are being had amongst the people that these conversations don't need to be had with. The conversations need to be had with the youth. Now we're still working to learn what, if anything, the Capitol plans to do with these now vacant pedestals. Coming up in about 30 minutes, we are gonna head back to the other side of the Capitol to show you the damage happening there. Josh. Christina Laurie live from downtown this morning. Christina, thank you.